What happens when you use a 4 millimeter tip instead of a 0.2 inch tip on your Heimer to find the edge? Welcome to another episode. In a recent project I did, when I made the two halves of an injection mold, I discovered that they didn't quite line up. They were slightly off. They were off by about 20 thousandths of an inch, and it took me a while to figure out what was going on. And the problem was that I was using the wrong Heimer tip. So in this episode, what I'm going to do is uh, first take you to the workbench and show you the, the issue. We're going to measure the difference. Then I'm going to take you to the computer to show you where that number comes from. And then the last thing is I'm going to change the, the Heimer tip and then align it. Uh, it's important that anytime you change your tip, you align it again to make sure that you don't have any run out. And that ensures you have maximum accuracy of the Heimer. So let's head to the bench. This is the injection mold that I made recently. And if you look at the edge, you can see that they don't quite line up. They should have lined up perfectly. So I was trying to figure out why they didn't line up. Let me show you how much they're off by. I have these uh, Fowler digital uh, depth finder. So I'm going to put it on here and you know, try to get it so that it's held in place firmly. And then I'm going to turn the, the barrel. And let's have a look. So when we look, you can see that it's off by 22 thousandths of an inch. We'll head to the computer now and I'll, I'll explain why it's off by this amount. I created a 3D model of the Heimer tip and went to more effort than really needed to create it, but you know, it's kind of fun. This is at about the angle it should be at when it is touching the side. And this is with the four millimeter metric tip. So let me turn on a sketch. And this sketch shows you right here the 0.2 inch tip that is the one that i wanted on there and so the difference between here and here is the error that it's going to introduce in other words what happens with this tip here when i really mean to use the 0.2 millimeter tip is that the zero position is actually going to be over here rather than here because it thinks it has this size tip so let me go ahead and uh, edit that sketch so that you can see the measurement that i put in place and you can see that the difference between these two is 0 0.023 inches, which was exactly the difference that I saw. So this shows you what happens if you're using the wrong tip. Now you can get around this, of course, if instead of using an edge, you measure it both here and then on the other side, and then take half of that and make this the center, because that will basically cancel out the two differences. So I want to show you what the two tips look like side by side. You can see it's quite noticeable, the difference between them. But I didn't look carefully enough. And it took me, as I said, a while to realize I was using the wrong tip. So I've put the Imperial tip on now with a uh, tenths indicator. And now what I want to do is move the X and the Z uh, until I'm right in the middle of the, the ball. So I'm going to start with the X and go back and forth until I get to the maximum. So it looks like about there. And then I'm going to do the same in Z. Okay, so now I'm perfectly centered on the ball. And what I'm going to do is move back the Y to the, so we're at zero. And then what I'm going to do is spin this and you can see it's definitely not um, centered. So. First, I'm going to do front to back. That's actually not too bad. So if I look here, that's uh, one thousandths uh, difference. So what I want to do is move the needle this way. And I've put this in here and I'll see which way it goes. Okay, so I have to loosen this one first. It looks like. Okay, so now I'll try to tighten this one. It 
Okay, so I split the difference. And so if I go between the front and the back, it's pretty close. So now I'm going to do side to side. So here I need to go this way, which means I need to loosen this one first. So I'll try that position. And you can see already I'm a lot closer, but it means I need to loosen this one just a little bit. And then move this one a little bit more. Okay, so let's try that. Okay, and I'm going to keep going back and forth and doing this until I get this completely uh, run out to uh, as small as I can. Okay, after a few minutes, and actually it wasn't as many as I thought, um, <laughs> it's not moving at all, so. But you can see that it does in fact move uh, if I tap on it. So I've got this now concentric to within, or I should say the run out to uh, you know, less than a tenth of an inch, which is, uh, I mean, one, less than one ten thousandth of an inch, which is, you know, wonderful. So I'm re now ready to use that. This is just a reminder, whenever you change the tip on your Heimer, uh, make sure you adjust it so that uh, you eliminate the run out. And that's something I had always wondered about, which is, you know, what would happen if you were using the wrong tip on the Heimer? And now I know. Uh, this is the type of thing where once you've done this once, you probably never forget. So I'm probably safe. The next thing I need to do is to sell the two four millimeter tips that I have to make sure I don't accidentally use them. And then to make sure I get another 0.2 inch tip as a replacement. I hope you found this episode interesting, even though it was a little bit shorter than normal. I have a few other projects lined up for the future. So I've got some uh, other things coming soon. Please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, comment below, and I'll see you next time.